And one of the hallmarks of social entrepreneurs is they don't see the obstacles. They see behind the obstacles in a way that everybody else may say, that's crazy, how can you, how can you do that? Thank you very much to the Tech Museum for this tremendous award. It means a lot to me and I really appreciate the opportunity. When I was a kid, I used to read a lot of books and I felt that the world of the future might be a pretty scary place with terrible new weapons and new wars and it just seemed that by the time I was older or I had kids, the world might not be as pleasant a place eBay came along and with it more financial resources than I had ever dreamed. I had never thought about philanthropy, but it became pretty clear to me that I had the resources to do that. In 2001, I had a very interesting meeting with John Gardner, who is a Silicon Valley luminary, and I asked him, what do you think I could do as a philanthropist to best make a difference in the world? And he said, bet on good people doing good things. Like most entrepreneurs, I'm, I've never been satisfied with the status quo, and over the last 15 years, I've started more than a dozen organizations. And the vision for all these organizations is to live in a sustainable world of peace and prosperity. We call ourselves tough-minded optimists. You know, we know the work is hard and it's real, but we also believe at the end of the day that we can really accomplish things. We can stop the spread of AIDS. We can eliminate nuclear weapons. And so all of my organizations work together to try to tackle these big issues. This kind of award really recognizes that science and discovery are important, but they become especially important when they're touching people in a big way. And whether that's helping them get clean water, or adapt to climate change, or being able to live in a pollution-free environment, these technologies are permeating the world at a faster and faster rate. And it's amazing how the ones that benefit humanity are really capturing our imaginations. I believe the technology is really the great enabler of our time. And it can level uneven playing fields. It can give voice to people who don't have a voice. Uh, it can, in very direct ways, impact the lives of people in the furthest parts of the world. And the tech community is really the driving force behind many of the innovations. This tech community plays an integral role in making a better world.